Hi guys, this is John Melcher. Uh, this short video should be about nine, 10 minutes long or so, but I'm gonna go over how you can generate your own QR codes for, in this case, for Snap Deliver. So you can get your marketing material, your business cards and stuff like that with your own QR codes put in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and uh, we're gonna get started here. So the first place you need to go to um, will be your uh, Snap Deliver team site. And so this is where it's at, snapdeliveredteam.com. And I've already gone, gone ahead and pulled my site up. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And then what I want to show you, if you're not familiar with this particular, uh, your back office is what I'm going to call it, is how to grab your referral links. And so over here on the left-hand side, you see my referral links. Just click on it. And it's going to you know, bring up uh, your customer, driver, merchant, and uh, VidGo uh, referral links. And all you have to do is click on here, copy it. And you can see there it is, referral link has been copied. And so then the next place you're gonna need to go to um, is to where you're gonna generate your QR codes. And that's gonna be the QR code monkey, uh, com. QR code dash monkey.com. And so remember, we already copied your, your customer uh, URL link. So what you're going to do now is down here where it says your URL, we're just going to go ahead, delete the uh, this particular link. We're going to paste in uh, our team link, which is for customers. And that is your whole thing, your whole link right there. It's kind of ugly if you paste it into an email or a chat or something like that. So sometimes you have to, right? But the QR code is really clean, it's fresh, it's up to date, and you can, to some degree, customize your QR code. And by doing that, and I don't recommend it for, if this is your first time, just leave your, your QR code looking like this, black and white with these particular squares. And But if you want to, uh, so you can spend some time and, and mess around with it. You can change colors, and this is all the stuff that's already preset. Um, you, if you can, and I would really advise it, is to go ahead and get um, a copy of the Snap Delivered um, logo, which I already have in a couple places. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab it. I don't think you can see this, but you'll see um, the logo will pop up here in a minute when I upload it. Uh, okay, where is it? There it is. We're uploading it and you'll see it pop up in here. So this is pretty cool. It looks pretty good. You don't need to use any of this behind background logo stuff. Um, if you choose to customize your uh, QR code, this is what it looks like now. This is kind of a default setting. You can do that. You can change these eyeballs, the shape of the eyeballs, your, your squares, dots, and whatever that are in there just by clicking on this and we'll just go ahead just for the sake of playing around a little bit we'll go ahead and do that i like to um kind of keep everything kind of the same body shape so i'll just count over whatever this is number four i'll take that and then i'll come down to the iframe shape and since it kind of matches this to some degree i'll select that and the eyeball shape itself i'll just keep it the number four um Monkey's already like defaulted this 1,000 by 1,000 pixelation thing. You can move this radial button back and forth to whatever you want. Um, I've seen people in other YouTubes um, do it like 600 and 700, but I figure if Monkey's got it defaulted 1,000, keep it there, right? Makes sense. And uh, you're ready to, to create your QR code. Now, I'm not sure... Uh, you can see this. So this is what it looks like, right? It looks pretty nice. You got your logo in there. And if you're happy with what you got there, you can go ahead and download it. Now, I think when I go ahead to download this, you're not going to see it show up on the screen. What you're going to see is this blue background that says that the QR code is being generated. Don't close that window. And as, when it stops, um, it'll be downloaded in case of my uh, Apple here, it goes to my download button here. And what you're not seeing, I don't think you can see um, the generated QR code, 
but you have the option at this point to go ahead and click on the file button and move it to um, to a predestined um, folder if you want to. And that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm just going to move it. And then um, I'm going to put it in my snap delivered folder and go ahead and move it over there. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. So we're going to close this too. And um, and I'm clicking on my snap snap delivered folder. We're going to bring that up and see what the, that new QR code is. And it's right here. Looks really good. What I what I would highly suggest is to go ahead rename that code to something else. I'd like to um, I like to use my my last name and what underscore and what it's for. In this case, it's uh, QR uh, customer, and and we're done with that. So that's all you really need to do with that. So you've got that available. So now all you have to do is really um, is uh, all you need to do is go back to um, your Snap Delivered team site, click on driver, and you can see, and then click on the referral link, and you see it's being copied, which is pretty nice. And when you get done with that one, go back to merchant and copy that one. And so now that we've got the, um, the, the driver one copied, right? We're going to go back to QR Monkey. This is just a quick, really uh, uh, redo. Um, we'll delete our previous URL address. And I, I recommend doing that just because I, I'm afraid I'm going to make a mistake. And I've seen things like that happen up before so but if you're smart you can just go ahead and just change the customer and type in driver nothing else in here changes um, if you're curious about what your uh, referral code number is it's right here in my case three two i'm kind of an older guy so three two four five six foxtrot 31 that was my original cure my uh, referral number hasn't changed, but you can always double check it, right? So not a big deal. So that's pretty much it. Um, you can change, like I said, you can change colors, you can add the logo and, um, and customize it, create your code, download it to your folder. And you are pretty much, pretty much done at that point. I'm gonna stop sharing and go back to here. So um, if you have any questions, I'm, I'm on the, uh, the manager's site and I'm also on the regular Snap Delivered site. Um, reach out to me if you got questions. If you want the, uh, this video, you can go ahead. I'll go ahead and post it and grab and put it in there for you. Um, and when you, you can sign up for my, uh, my channel there on YouTube. And there's a bunch of other stuff in there for various things. So be good to go. So um, what I wanted to also tell you was when you go to do your uh, um, your business cards and your restaurant marketing material and your driver material, whatever the case is, in the um, Snap Pro site, which is aligned with Vista Vista Prints, right? Um, you can bring up these QR codes that we just made. You also have the ability in the Pro site uh, for Vista Print to do your QR codes. Um, we have had problems in the past when Vista did them that they did not take you to the correct URL site. And, but if you do choose to use Vista print, always, you know, scan that QR code and make sure that's going to the right place that that code's for. Um, which is kind of why I like to use monkey because I know that I put the correct URL code in there and I like to double check them. I like to scan them with my own phone and my camera and make sure that it goes to the right place. So uh, on Vistaprint, this is what my business card looks like. It, it's backwards. So you, whatever, right. But on the back of the card, you can put all three and maybe they've changed where you can put Vidgo on there right now. But this one has my current uh, QR codes for driver for the restaurant and for users. So it's pretty handy. It's easy to hand to give out and tell people about it. So um, that's really about it. Uh, like I said, you can catch me on my YouTube channel 
you can catch me in the Snap Delivery Manager site and in the in our uh, regular Snap chat site. So that's it, folks. Hope this was helpful. Uh, join my channel. That's cool. Um, otherwise, we'll catch you later. All right. Bye bye.